Fantastic effort, gold medal. How do you feel? Just, you know, a bit blown away by it all, really. It's been a really hard winter and I've been training really hard in the in the VAR, the other boat. So I was I came with really realistic expectations in the kayak. Um, and, I'm, you know, to come away with personal best performances and a gold medal is just a little bit hard to believe at the minute. So <laughs> I'm a bit all over the place. What did your coach say to you before you started? Oh, and the coaching team are just incredible. And he just said, go and do what I know you can do and stick to your processes. And that's what I did, and, and that allows me to, to get where I've got. So we're so lucky as, as GB to, to have the coaches that we've got, um, and it just allows us to achieve. Last year I spoke to you, you said you were keen to outgrow your clothes uh, just because you want to get more powerful, <laughs> better and stronger. Do you feel you have? Yeah, I think I've definitely got, got bigger and stronger. I think I'm still just in the same size, but I'm going to burst, burst in this winter. So there's lots more to come. Uh, what's your main focus now? Uh, my main focus is to get back and, and get some rest uh, and I've got my VAR final tomorrow um, and that's been my main focus throughout the competition so that's the one that I'm just going to come back and do the same as I've done today, nail the processes and, and hopefully you know, I can put in a, a personal best performance. Uh, what do you find the differences between the two events? I mean, it must be quite tricky to adjust from one to the other. Yeah, it's my first year racing the two boats, um, so it's been a real challenge, but a real, you know, a positive in lots of ways to allow me to develop as an athlete. And and the, the main differences are just the managing your time um, and the fact that it is very, very different technique-wise. Um, but the fundamentals stay the same. It's about the work you do in the gym, the work you do with the coaches, and and sticking to the processes in the race. Obviously, GB power canoeing is a natural, a huge success. Success, but does it make it really tricky for an athlete to maintain and be in that team? Yeah, I mean definitely. I mean I had to, to make sure that I could beat Jeanette Chippington, who we all know is a, an absolute legend, um, just to you know to, to get my spot at these world champs. So you know I think we we work so well as a team. We push each other on, um, and that allows us to put in really really good performances because we're always training and working at, at a really high level. You've switched from uh, volleyball, I believe. Yeah. Um, why, why did you make the switch to power canoe? I think, you know, after London, I had a great time in London with the volleyball team, but I wanted to, to, to try and find a sport that was going to push those performance boundaries and, and give me an opportunity to, to really see what I could do physically and, and hopefully take me on a path to, to some exciting times in uh, 2016. So. Well, congratulations on your gold medal, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much. Thanks so much.